Hey everybody, it's Andy from Tennis Euphoria and today I'm reviewing the new Adidas Barricade, something that tennis coaches and tennis fans will have been really pleased to see. And certainly for me, you always think of um, comfort and durability when it comes to barricades. Let's hope that this new iteration is the same. So I'll come at this from a strength and conditioning and PT perspective, as that's my experience. Thanks to Matthew Emerson for noticing that I was wearing them in my tennis racket review videos. So I'm a bit of a fan of the barefoot movement. I could make a whole video on the pros and cons of that, but lots of trainers and shoes nowadays for me don't allow your feet to spread optimally and you lose the use of your toes. Also, a lot of trainers don't allow for that propulsion and shock absorption that you get from the flexors across your midfoot, which I think is suboptimal. Um, however, when it comes to tennis, we are often playing on hard surfaces and the demand is exceptional. So I sort of accept that um, I will wear slightly different shoes playing tennis compared to what I would do in general training and in the gym, for example. Taking that one step further, this is a small snippet of the longest ATP rally ever played out. And it's useful, and this is a small snippet of it, but it shows the unique demands that are placed on a tennis trainer. Obviously, we're all worried about going over on our ankles. Uh, we also need that durability in our shoe because of the um, excessive lateral movement that we'll be going through and we also need um, comfort and performance the lighter the better in my view because of the length of the potential rallies and I think that's how we should judge tennis trainers durability comfort and performance so how do these barricades the new barricades work in those three categories well, I'm going to come at that back to front and first of all I'm going to look at performance. Now for me this is where the new barricades excel. So in terms of that unique demand of tennis movement the barricade is very light and it helps you move quickly around the the, the court. There's also enough cushioning through that sole to take away some of that um, pressure, but also crucially for me from a performance perspective, they're wide enough to allow my toes to spread and I have quite wide feet. Um, I go always a size up with my tennis trainers and double up on socks to prepare uh, to protect myself from blisters. And the barricades are fantastic in that regard. I can feel my front toes spreading. It allows a lot of flexion through uh, my foot. And I think that's giving me optimal propulsion. And it's also absorbing a lot of shock. Also, crucially, I get a lot of proprioception, um, which you only get through the front of your feet when you're not heel striking. So that is um, great. I kind of intuitively know where my feet are going in the barricades. Moving on to comfort, then also this is an area where they excel. And the intuitive lacing system kind of creates a um, mesh or a webbing around your foot. And I find that to be very, very comfortable probably the closest that I can get to some sort of minimalist or barefoot shoe in the tennis world that allows my feet to feel quite free whilst also feeling um, safe and protected on the tennis court. So from a comfort perspective, I think that they score exceptionally well. So what about durability? Now, of course, tennis shoes need to be able to stand up to potential sliding situations. And those two pictures, I think, are really important because, of course, um, that is both about the underside of the shoe, but it's also about the top of the shoe because the dragging leg will literally drag the top of the shoe along the clay or the hard surfaces or whatever you're using. And it's in this durable area that there is pluses and minuses. I mean, this is an expensive shoe at 130 UK pounds. And from a sole perspective, the durability is excellent. 
However, from the top of the foot, that intuitive mesh is relatively um, thin. That delivers great performance and comfort. But what I have found is that I will occasionally drag my foot. Sometimes in a match situation, I will slide and they are ripping up pretty quickly across the top of the foot. So it really is a mixed picture with regards to durability. So where does that leave me on the barricades? You can see here that there is quite a lot of wear across the top and that is after a month of play. And I play three to four times a week with one of those being a match-based scenario. So I see these barricades as your performance shoe. Um, buy cheap, buy twice, yes for sure. But I think you buy the barricades uh, really for performance and comfort probably accept that you're not going to get the best durability across the top of the shoe and probably accept that you're going to need to replace them more often than you would like uh, but that could be the trade-off to get great performance in your tennis shoe hope that helps and i hope that reviewing other tennis equipment is of use if it is drop a like um, and i'll see you again soon